Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the world of data. Now, one of the things that I've been asked recently, especially on LinkedIn, is uh, as a remote data scientist, some of people, especially people who are based in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, how do they get a job in um, a, a European or a North American uh, a company? Okay. Now, when you, because of the pandemic, what's happened is that these companies um, have realised that they can work remotely with data scientists. And in fact, data scientists actually probably prefer to work, well, the ones that I've engaged with do prefer to work remotely because they, they need a lot of focus time to get things done. And being in office, they get distracted a lot. Um, but obviously, they, some of them do, and a lot of them do like going to the office, but mainly they, they like to work remotely um, at home for their companies. Now, companies have realised that if they can get people remotely in their own country, why can't they widen their net? And so some of these companies are looking for remote data scientists, but they don't necessarily advertise it as such. So if you're a remote data scientist, if you're a, a data scientist in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, and you're looking to work with international companies, here's one of the advice that I'd give you. Okay, now if you go directly, okay, you could, you could contact these companies directly, tell them that you're uh, uh, working remotely. Obviously, I've, I've made another video before where I talk about the skills. One of the skills that you have to have is a very good um, uh, uh, fluency in English, okay? Because if they feel um, that, that, you, that they can't communicate with you, um, then it's very unlikely that they will engage you or, or want to hire you as a data scientist. So make sure your fluency in English is very good, okay? So if you haven't got that, I would suggest you practice that and get your fluency to a level. Anyway, so if you park all that, contact them directly and offer them your service to tell them how, how you would operate and, and how you would work, okay? But you have to contact them directly okay um, a lot of the times they won't advertise you can't apply for on, on their websites okay because the um, application tool will reject you because you're not in the country so you need to find the hiring manager and you need to directly con contact them whether it's connecting via LinkedIn or whether it's trying to find their email and going through through their company reception and getting to talk to them okay uh, and then you want to explain that you saw you've seen the job advert and you believe you could do the job remotely from India uh, or Bangladesh Pakistan wherever it is um, and you know these are your skills so you want to send your CV if they'd consider it. At least then you'd know automatically whether they, they would like to hire you or not. So that, that's one of the ways to do it. Go directly, but make sure you contact though the people who hire the hiring, man, hiring manager directly. Don't contact the HR because they'll, they'll, put, they'll have tick books and they'll say, oh, you're not in the country, you're not in the UK, for example, sorry, we won't consider you. But the hiring manager, even though he thinks he wants to hire in the UK, if he got, got an alternative proposal and it worked for him, there's no reason why he can't convince his company that he should hire a remote worker. The second um, option, Option is to look for UK agencies or consultancies that work in the data space okay now um, for example my company we hire uh, offshore resources okay um, so therefore you want to look for those agencies and you want to be, contact the, the people in charge the CEO um, you know or the directors and say look I'm a data scientist I'm based out in here um, I appreciate you operate in the USA or you operate in the UK but we could I could be an extension of your team so if you needed data science support then I'm happy to help and what's easier for these agencies is that um, they're used to working with freelancers and contractors because projects come up and they need to do that um, and so they already have an idea of how to work um, with with uh, remote remote workers so contact those companies okay and see if you can work through them uh, via them for UK US clients or the other European clients okay that will give you exposure and then later on if you wanted to work for clients directly you should be able to say look I've got experience working for this UK consultancy data consultancy or analytics consultancy um, and now I can work for you di uh, work for you directly because I have the experience the third way is to look for uh, an offshore hub of one of these data consultancies or agencies okay um, so typically you know for the my company I have an offshore hub in Dhaka in Bangladesh that, that's something that you might want to do you might want to look for those offshore hubs and apply there that way what happens is that even though you're, you're employed locally and yes it's not exactly what you want but it's a step towards getting to working uh, being a remote worker for an offshore company because what happens is that you work for this um, offshore hub of a UK or a US or a other European data agency or data consultancy um, and you get to work on you know international clients mainly in Europe and, and North America and that gives you exposure you, you, you get to talk to the clients to the UK office and you improve, improve your English you understand how problems are solved you understand what people are looking for um, and you build up your skill set that way. The fourth thing is is look for a company which may have an office in your um, country okay so take something like Facebook or an Oracle um, they, they generally have lots of offices all over the world so what you do is you work for them and you understand what, what skills they need um, and what and you know um, what, what, what kind of uh, problems they solve and then later on once you've picked up the skills and you've got a working relationship with them is that you might leave 
the local office and then set yourself up as a freelance remote worker and maybe even contact them or contact their competition and say, look, I've got this experience. Um, I'm working remotely from uh, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, wherever, um, and, and I know how your industry works and I can, I can um, you know, help you with, with data science uh, resourcing because I, I have that skill set. If you are a, a remote data scientist and you'd like to work um, with, for a, a foreign company, mainly in Europe or North America, then I hope these uh, tips were useful. Please do like my uh, video, please do share it, and of course, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So I get emails that say, basically, I've learned Python and um, I know how to run a few models. Um, am I ready to get a job in data science?